two for one special today, guys. Marketing for tenants online and when to use an LLC. What's happening, YouTube? It's Matt. Welcome to Mentorship Monday. So we've got a bunch of Mentorship Monday questions that have piled up. And in order to prevent you guys having to wait like six months to get your Mentorship Monday questions answered, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing two-for-one specials. So uh, two questions uh, each Monday just to get ourselves caught up and so you guys can keep getting your questions answered and keep having conversations with us. So question number one comes from Casper. Uh, not Casper the Friendly Ghost, Casper from Canada, so Casper the Friendly Canadian. Um, and he has a property in Winnipeg that he bought um, 35% down. He says he's getting monthly payments, $12.50 a month. This is a Canadian number, so $12.50 Canadian per month. And he looks like he can rent it for somewhere around $17.50 or so. So nice little spread, $500 a month. Um, but uh, Casper is having an issue uh, confirming what the rent price should be and also just wants to know what we use for marketing for our property. So Casper, I use um, uh, for our software, we use a, a product called Appfolio. Uh, and there's Appfolio, there's Buildium, there's Yardi. Uh, those softwares handle all of your financial side for your rental. So uh, Appfolio handles all of our profit and loss statements, our rent collections, all that stuff. And another thing that they do is they market our rentals for us. Uh, so those sites are tied into sites like Hotpads, Trulia, Zillow, um, all those marketing arms for marketing uh, our vacancies. Now, we also cut and paste the HTML code to put the property into Craigslist. So that's another vehicle that we use. Um, so we use Craigslist, but we also use one of these sites that broadcast uh, your rental. If you don't have Appfolio or any of these other sites, you can use uh, Postlets, I think. And this, we used to use vFlyer and we used Postlets. Um, either one of those can broadcast your ad into sites like Truly, Zillow, those types of things, and do everything I just talked about for Appfolio. They're not going to give you back end um, accounting support as well for your rentals, but they will broadcast your site, your your uh, product to a bunch of different rental sites. So that's what we do. Now you're also asked how we find the most reasonable renting price. It depends on where you are in Winnipeg. This may apply, but if you guys are, those of you that are watching or in other big metropolitan areas, you can use Rentometer uh, or you can just simply look on Craigslist and look to see what other landlords are broadcasting their rentals at um, for just, you know, search for uh, bedrooms and kind of act like you're a tenant and say, okay, I'm looking for a two bedroom uh, in this district. Look to see what the competition is. So just kind of act as if you're a tenant and look online and surf a few sites. You can even look on apartments.com. Uh, that's one of the sites that gets broadcast to um, by uh, Appfolio and those guys. So that's what I would do. Thank you, Casper, the friendly Canadian, uh, for uh, for your question. Next, going on to Brian, who is serving in the U.S. military in Afghanistan. Thank you for your service to our country, Brian. I appreciate you. Uh, and and uh, thank you for uh, being in Afghanistan and still thinking about your rentals over there, uh, over here in the U.S. So, um Brian's got a property in D.C., property in Columbia. Looks like these either used to be your uh, primary residences or whatnot because Brian owns them in his own name. Um, and uh, he's looking to know if he should um, uh, put them in, a, convert them to an LLC. He's also looking to buy a fixer-upper and do it as an Airbnb. So here's where I'm at, Brian, because a lot of people ask me whether or not they should put properties in LLCs or whether I should hold them in their own personal name. This is a very common Mentorship Monday question. We have answered stuff like this before, but for you, you're a little more specific. Um, and uh, what I would say to you, Brian, is that um, if you are looking to, when you complete your uh, your active duty with the U.S. military, if you're looking to be a full-time landlord, then yeah, you should look to do an LLC. But that's, that's to any of you guys. If you're looking to be a full-time landlord or grow your rental portfolio to more than say three or four units, then yes, you should do an LLC. If you're only looking to like maybe two or three units, maybe see where it goes, but have this as an extremely passive thing on the side that you do, um, then you probably don't need to do an LLC at that point. But if you're looking to grow and expand, um, these properties will eventually start showing on your credit report. Uh, so you're going to need to get them into an LLC's name and then refinance them into the LLC so that they're out of your own personal name because what's going to happen is if you start buying more and more property in your personal name, you're going to become unbankable because uh, you're going to have all these mortgages in your personal name and it's going to show up on your credit report and it'll eventually drag your credit down. Um, so you want to get them out of the L get them into an LLC uh, out of your personal name from a credit perspective, but also from a liability perspective. Um, you bring up a, a good point here about insurance and stuff like that. You can cover yourself from liability with insurance. 
if you have a few properties, uh, as you grow your portfolio, you want to have an LLC for as a corporate veil of protection with a um, an insurance company sitting beyond that to protect you as well. So uh, that's the short answer to your Brian. Depends on your goals. So you want to buy just a couple, then keep them where they're at. You want to buy a bunch, you want to do an LLC and structure yourself as a business. So uh, that's it. Thank you, Casper. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, you guys, for watching. Help me at derosagroup.com. Keep sending in those questions because I want to keep having to do twofers uh, for you guys to get all your questions answered as quickly as I can. Um, and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel uh, if you like what we do here at the DeRosa Group. So have a great and profitable week, guys. Thank you.